What's up guys, your man Chef Moff Dome back in for another video and this one's called Why do Millennials get the blame for everything that's wrong today? If you like more content like this, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I got new videos coming for you every day. We usually talk about music, politics, art, wrestling, sports, and other things on the channel. But sometimes I have introspective topics like this where I look into my ordinary life, I look to other people's lives, and I just think about stuff like, hmm, I wonder. Anyway, let's get into the video. Millennials are blamed for everything because I think since we're the generation that had the most technology and since we had MySpace, Facebook, um, Tinder, POF, Instagram, Snapchat, since everything's aired out, since we're stupid enough to record everything we do, and since it's all put on news publications, it's all over the web, it's viral, the stupid stuff we do, it gets multiplied. When people were doing stupid stuff back in the 1800s, 1900s, and... In the past before that, it wasn't on camera. And it wasn't as socially acceptable, and it was a taboo, and et cetera, et cetera, times changed. So, that's why we get blamed for a thing. But the truth is, all generations are at fault, but especially that generation of people that were born in the late 60s to the early 80s. I think they don't get as much criticism as we do. And I think it's because they found a way to kind of shine up what they did and shine up the image. See, the people that baby boomers and before that, they have the excuse of, hey, the U.S. was in a better time. They had the most money ever made. They were, in, they were World War II veterans. They was Vietnam veterans, Korean veterans, and they had more courage and strength than us, granted. But they made a lot of decisions that affected people 20, 30 years down the line, like health regulations, like television, like entertainment norms, like cocaine and other drugs they were using that was in the infancy before it had a massive boom. They shine up the fact that, hey, the Beatles this, hey, Lionel Richie this, blah, 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 and make fun of our entertainers. And true, our entertainers are more blunt, but they don't show you what other singers like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Donna Summers, et cetera, what all those guys had on their albums. They don't show you the B-sides. They don't show you the deep cuts on the albums of Marvin Gaye when he talks about sexual things. They might not have cursed, but they did mean the same thing. I just want people to understand that. When you say, let's get it on, it's the same thing as... Girl, I want to fuck you right now. It's the same thing. It's that we're more explicit about it because times have changed. They don't want to show you that in the disco club or when not in the 70s and late 60s and even the early 80s that they were still twerking, they were still grinding, they were still doing cocaine and having sex in the back of cars. They glamorize. They say, we went to the drive through or we were having a good time. It was all love music. They making music called. They say, our music is void of love and we're just fucking. Well, the music might have sounded better, but it doesn't mean the actions were better. You still wound up a single parent. You still had a dad leaving. You still had a mom act like a jerk. Who do you think whipped these kids in the 80s and 90s? Who do you think abandoned these kids? Who do you think had these crack cocaine babies? Who do you think had these heroin babies? The people born in the late 60s, 70s, and early 80s. Who do you think did all this? And you got to ask yourself, who bred the people that... Wound up committing all the crimes in the 90s and the 2000s. Well, those parents were born in the 80s and 70s. So by their bad behavior and bad actions and their lack of parenting skills and lack of awareness, they caused the generation of messed up kids to be grown like this. Being gay didn't just come out of nowhere. They say this is the most LGBTQ accepted generation, period. You got to look at the figureheads. You got to look at your RuPaul drag racist. You got to look at your Madonnas. You got to look at your Cindy Lauper messages and their song lyrics. You got to look at the Freddie Mercury. You got to look at all these entertainers. They were gay as well. They did the same things. So you can't just say we're just messing up everything. We're throwing out all these new crazy ideas when you guys were doing it. You guys just didn't have the advantage. I mean the disadvantage of having everything recorded. Your conversations weren't being recorded on Facebook. People, you guys didn't have the phone in your pocket. And you weren't stupid enough to get on Snapchat and Instagram and record yourself live and tell everybody the stuff you just did. The camera wasn't there when you was in the back of club sucking somebody's D or when you was twerking on five or six dudes and being pregnant, you didn't know which one was the father. That's why a lot of grandmas raised the children. So before anyone else tries to say the millennial generation is one of the worst generations, you have to realize. If you guys had phones back in 1950, 1960, 1970, there'd be a lot of things we would know about you guys that you aren't telling us. But anyway, this is a little bit longer video than my usual. Use my videos to about three minutes. I had to talk about this because a lot of people like to blame the millennial generation and Generation Z. And it's time for people to realize that 
If there were cameras at other time periods, you guys would realize how horrific each time period has their own faults. So it's your man, Chef from Off the Dome. I make new videos every day. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.